The 8th generation BMW 5 Series has arrived for the 2024 model year, arriving only weeks after longtime cross-country rivals Mercedes announced a new E-Class. While these two companies compete in a variety of areas, the 5 Series vs. E-Class duel is perhaps one of the most crucial. These basic models are the bedrock of premium luxury, status symbols for the middle to upper classes, and the beating heart of the whole premium sector. But which of these cars is the finest in terms of style, substance, and technology? We'll get behind the wheel of each shortly, but in the meanwhile, here's how they compare. Exterior Design both companies have a history of contentious design, with BMW known for its flamboyant noses and Mercedes known for its nested doll design, yet the 5 Series and E-Sophistication exhibit unexpected restraint and sophistication. BMW claims significant Italian influences in the 5 Series, which means it favors subtle lines over bold, eye-catching design decisions. Needless to say, we are grateful. Narrow, broad kidney grills exude sportiness and harken back to the shark nose appearance of early 5 era, with vertical or horizontal slats depending on trim, the retracted headlights may take some getting used to, but their upper and lower edges translate into sleek lines that cleanly follow the bodywork and guide the eye down the new 5 sides. In terms of the flanks, BMW has chosen a traditional Hofmeister kink over the current rendition, which only utilizes the name. However, a debossed 5 sits next to it, which is probably a touch tackier than one might anticipate from the 5 Series. The back is reminiscent of a 7 Series, with long, thin taillights and an evolutionary style that appears ageless. The E-Class has a more sophisticated design, with an EQ-inspired front grille piece, headlights with a notched style and a distinct LED DRL characteristic flank this. These are the main distinguishing features of the E-Class. When viewed from the side profile, the automobile seems to be a minor reworking of the previous generation's design. A full-width light bar inspired by the EQ design language and massive LED taillights with a 3D Mercedes Star design badge distinguish the rear. This element looks to be at variance with the rest of the design and is as unappealing as BMW's 5 emblem on the Hofmeister kink. Performance, perhaps a sign of the times, but neither of these cars has a V8 engine. The M5 will very certainly get a plug-in hybrid V8 from the BMW XM label red, while Mercedes will almost certainly get a comparable power plant for the full-fat AMG model that will undoubtedly appear. Instead, four and six cylinder powertrains with displacements of 2.0 and 3.0 liters and turbocharging and moderate hybridization are the norm. In the case of the BMW, a new generation 2.0 liter turbo incorporates the exhaust manifold into the head design and employs the Miller combustion cycle for improved efficiency. The 530i's 255 horsepower and 295 lb-ft of torque may be sent to the rear wheels or all four wheels via the ubiquitous 8-speed automatic gearbox. Depending on the powertrain, it takes 5.8 to 5.9 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in E350 trim. Mercedes matches these outputs exactly, matching them with a 9-speed automatic and all-wheel drive alone. With the four so evenly matched, the sixes give some, if tiny, distinction. Both manufacturers produce 375 horsepower with 3.0 liters, turbocharging, and a 48-volt electrical system. The BMW, though, produces more torque, with 284 lb-ft of twist to the Merck's 369 lb-ft with the option to increase that to 398 lb-ft for limited durations. The BMW claims a 4.5 second 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint, whereas Mercedes says nothing about the benchmark acceleration time. We must also discuss the i5, since BMW insists it is a 5 series first and a powertrain second, something we can attest to following an early prototype drive. 
While it competes directly with the Mercedes EQE, a completely different vehicle, it provides consumers with the 5 Series package they desire, with up to 590 horsepower in M60 trim and a 3.7 second 0 to 60 miles per hour pace. The eDrive 40 produces 335 horsepower. To get anything similar from an EQE, you'd have to go with the 617 horsepower AMG EQE, which isn't technically an E-Class. When we come to infotainment, perhaps one day, premium manufacturers will realize that the premium feel of a cabin is not directly proportional to the amount of screen estate included, but today is not that day. BMW may be closer to realizing this than others, with the BMW curved display combining digital instruments and a 14.9-inch infotainment screen under a single curved piece of glass atop the dash. Yes, it is atop, which means it has the ability to dominate sidelines, the MBUX super screen, which is incorporated into the primary dash, but covers the whole width and features numerous displays for the driver and passenger, is standard on the E-Class. Voice control, zero layer access to main functionality, and numerous linked features and OTA updates are all claimed by both. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also available, as are head-up displays. BMW adds in-car gaming via the Air Console platform, which may appear gimmicky until you hear about the optional selfie camera and in-car app integration for Zoom, Angry Birds, TikTok, and other apps. In our opinion, subtle tech integration that fades to background noise is a winner, and BMW achieves this with the interaction bar that the 5 Series inherits from the 7 Series. When not in use, a backlit crystalline bar across the dash offers ambient lighting but illuminates with various animations to signify incoming calls and features touch-sensitive buttons to help regulate temperature control, danger warning lights, and more. It's a sophisticated response to the information deluge that modern culture feeds on. Interior space? Both of these vehicles have grown in size to meet the demands of nearly any modern household. Both offer additional front and back sitting room, as well as bigger trunks than previously, albeit the 19 cubic feet in the E-Class manages to outnumber the 18.4 cubic feet in the combustion-powered 5 Series vehicles. Similar trim and upholstery options are available for everyone, but BMW makes a big deal of the Veganza interior option, which is completely leather-free. But extended merino leather may still be specified in a range of colors. While the E-Class may be ordered with an AMG-style package that includes a new steering wheel and sharper interior accents, the BMW's stock wheel and seats appear to be more sporty. A red 12 o'clock marker on the steering wheel, red dash trim, and unique seats with Veganza Alcantara leather, red and blue transparent details, and M pedals make the 5 Series appear substantially sportier. So, which one is better? There isn't much to choose between these two sedans in terms of performance, economy, size, and overall specification. This is a positive thing since it implies that their popularity will be determined by personal preference, and it also means that competition has driven them to a high level of overall quality. Without having driven them yet to evaluate their chassis and powertrains, we must settle for a relatively objective evaluation based on first impressions of style and technical development application. With these criteria in mind, the 5 Series appears to be the superior midsize luxury car at first appearance. Its appearance is more distinguishable and appears to be a timeless design. The interior doesn't overwhelm occupants with an abundance of screen estate as the E-Class does. As we said when we tested the 7 Series alongside the S-Class, BMW's ability to integrate technology in a subtle manner without resorting to the big screen fad will pay dividends in the long run. We stick to that concept, and the new 5 Series manages to combine the finest of the 7 Series in a smaller, more elegant form that solidifies it as the pinnacle of BMW. The E-Class, on the other hand, appears gimmicky on the inside and fails to separate itself sufficiently on the outside. All that remains is to drive them, but based on initial impressions, BMW has nailed another home run. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And here are the videos that we hand picked for you to watch next Life and Luxury, Your Personal Mentor.